Are we fully prepared for this to go badly? Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the life of Alex Choi. Today, we are mainly gonna focus on the M2 because I told you guys multiple times before that I have something really special coming for this car. Before we get to that, check out this Miami Blue Porsche GT3. And yeah, it is a manual gearbox. And yes, it has carbon bucket seats. And no, I'm not gonna get up there to show you guys right now because this thing is really high up in the air right now. But this thing is awesome. It is getting like a full exhaust, no cats, no muffler, like straight through. This is gonna sound pretty obnoxious and I can't wait to see what this sounds like at the end. My M2, I know you guys haven't seen this on my channel or on my Instagram for a while and that is because it was getting fixed. I don't know if you guys remember, but my whole front bumper was wrecked because I ran it into a flower pot. Dude, did you just hit that? Yeah, you did. Dude, look at this. You moved that because you actually hit the the tow hook it was embarrassing i literally like there was a flower pot in the middle of the road i wasn't looking i was looking the other direction and i just shoved straight into the flower pot i crushed the whole flower pot including my front bumper but i got a new one and this gray by the way is a primer so when parts when body panels come from like fresh out of the box they come in gray because that's the primer and you just paint and then you just paint over it. This today, tonight is gonna go to PSM Dynamic. They're the ones that are going to do my wide body fenders on this car and a couple other carbon bits here and there. But before we get there, Mark's gonna rip apart some of the interior panels because we're getting the whole interior redone and a couple other things coming, so stay tuned. It looks like while I was on my rally with Damon, Dave was having some fun with my car. But sorry, August motor cars, August luxury motor cars. This has got to go because I'm sure this is illegal. I, a, I don't know if you guys remember, but I got a ticket for having a windshield banner literally this big along this car. Some some cop gave me a ticket for that, saying it was blocking my visibility. Like, yeah, I was I was the sticker was blocking me from the aliens invading from space, so I can't look up into the sky. By the way, if you think I was just gonna just gonna do the wide body kit on this car, did you really think I was just gonna do a wide body kit on this car? Because I have so many other things planned for this car. And it's going to be debuted. Well, my goal is that this car will be debuted at the LA Auto Show, which is in three weeks. So in three weeks, we have to wide body this car, get a bunch of carbon parts, do the whole entire interior, uh, somehow find new wheels, get like the crazy back section. I'm getting a crazy back section built for this car. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen in three weeks, but we'll do our best. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Ooh. I love that. Oh, is this titanium? What do you think? Yeah, so light. Like literally this is like like so light. Carbon tips? Feels weird. Uh yep, the headers are stainless steel. That's a lot heavier. Oh, it has cats in it. Yeah. More fun to just rip them open. That's so fresh. And titanium. Look at the heat wrap around these uh, vacuum valves. Dude, you would not believe how light this is. Can you see? But like what it is, I would not be able to lift this with one hand if this was stainless. I'm like not even having trouble lifting this. That's the magic of titanium. There you go. Oh! <laughs> yeah, titanium is like crazy. It does everything stainless steel does, except like 10 times better. And it's so much lighter. And it dissipates heat a lot faster. Ooh, oh, two years. There we go. Just leave it like this. It looks so race car. I was trying to tell you. What is this, the lock unlock? Oh, that's how you lock and unlock. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Panel has been retrieved. Weight reduction. Totally. So race car. It's a little too race car, I think. You know, with that it's big like old sound on there. Full race car. Yeah. 
That's my door handle. Oop, it's a little flimsy. And look who is here, Mr. Mondi. I can hear this thing coming down from like Beverly Hills. <laughs> You may think it's unnecessary. Hey, Megan. <laughs> oh, I have arrived. Okay, so, Damon, you have to realize you're famous now. These donuts you made, these circles, you cannot be doing that. So, we got a call from our landlord. He calls us. He's like, what the hell is going on? What'd you guys do? And I'm like, uh, okay, like, there's like 20 things we've done wrong. I'm trying to figure out what he meant. Uh, so, he goes, What's up with those skid marks? What's up with those donuts in front of the shop? And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, you know what? It must have been some hooligans came. I said, look, it wasn't us. I have no idea what you're talking about. So he goes, my son watches YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen you guys do it in front of the shop. So he goes, I'm on vacation. I'm going to come back. If there's any damage to the pavement, you guys are going to have to re uh, re uh, Yeah, yeah exactly. that's, that's going to be a uh, small problem. If there's any damage to the pavement, you guys are going to have to redo it. So Damon, being Damon that he is, uh, he doesn't listen to words, right? He's a very visual guy, as you can tell from his camera work. Very artistic in that sense. So, Damon, circle that you made. Okay, I'm gonna take this mercy. I'm gonna make a big X on the circle, okay? No burnouts here. Circle X, Damon, no burnout. I haven't done yet. I haven't done a standing burnout. I've done a ton of burnouts, like rolling ones, but I haven't done a standing one. So, should we have like 10 guys hold the car? Yeah. And then I'll do a donut in you front of it. My 80 pound weight will be able to hold here. Oh, good 4, okay. pound mercy Can we chain the rear end of this thing? Chain the mirror rear really. Does it even have a tow hook on the back? No, it doesn't. Here, let's grab four by fours. Let's put four by fours in front of the front tires and block it off. So, Mark. If it has to do with one. moving cars, I'm not doing any I'll, of I'll it. move the cars. So, number okay. number one, we chain the mercy logo down. Number so two, I can do a burning rollout. We get like 30, I mean, standing rollout. We get like 30 oh, people to hold the mercy logo while it's doing a burnout. Hold it from the front. Or number three. Because I, I don't want the car to go forward. I want it to like be stationary and do a burnout while it's stopped. And I don't want to hit the brakes. I know I could do it with the brakes, but I don't want to destroy the brakes on my car. So here's what I'm thinking. Maybe like a four by four in front of the front tires to hold the car in place. Or chalks. Right? Chalks. We got chalks. Are we fully prepared for this to go badly? Uh. I don't think my insurance agent follows DD yet. Uh, <laughs> but you guys are big, so you know. Oh, my know. insurance agent definitely doesn't follow DD okay. yet. If they uh, do, they I would not be have, I would not have insurance on my car. Have to stay low enough. Whoa, well, we chain it too. Shipping container. Brakes should do the can you connect? Can you like disconnect the rear brakes? Um, disconnect the rear brakes. You can you can't disconnect the rear brakes, but you can clamp off the brake lines. So they don't worry. So just the front brakes that work. So and you stand on the front brake pedal. Okay, I could do that. Yeah, that's kind of a poor man's line lock. Okay. We're just supposed to have this epic burnout where the car doesn't go anywhere. Let's we're not do, supposed okay. to say, let's do this, let's Photoshop it. No, no, we're not. Okay, you know what? Okay, you're calling me out, call me a chicken. No, 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 I don't, I don't just uh, I'm just. gonna do it the old traditional way. Burning. Well, there's only one good way that this thing could end, and there are like 17 oh. different bad ways this thing could end. One, the Mercy logo blows up or catches on fire. Two, Edmund gets arrested. Three, AJS gets kicked out of this place because this landlord uh, doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Or four, he crashes. Bottom line, Damon's to blame for all of this. So I've kept this place nice and clean for our customers. I haven't put any skin marks. It's black top, but of course I wanted to do that. But now Damon comes, does whatever he wants. <laughs> DD lifestyle, <laughs> and now he's giving me an excuse to do it myself. So I finally get to tear up my own uh, rented property. Yep, Damon, it's all your fault. Meanwhile, just, just stepped on my trim panels. Oh, there's nothing I could <laughs> grab my door. This is like full race car. Look at this thing. I, it feels weird. I have nothing to like rest my arms on, and I can't like control the windows because my window controls are. Gone. I think it was once plugged into that. I can't wait for this build to finish. This is gonna be like the craziest M2 on this planet. Like nothing will be like like freaking wide body drift. It's gonna be crazy. That's all I know. What's up? There's no there's no door handle. Here, bro. Oh, thanks. Genius. <laughs>
Uh, Are you like comprehending what's about to happen outside your shop right now? I don't think I really have a choice, dude. Sometimes if you don't have a choice, you just let it go. My first time in the tire slayer. Damon revved my car, you saw that video, right? Yeah. Yeah, you were in it too. This thing is so loud. <laughs> yeah, the power steering on this car is gone. So I can't. That's what it's like to drive a Huracan without power steering. He's gonna spray Dave's car. Oh, poor Dave's car. Alrighty. I don't think Dave will get mad if he gets some rock chips on his car, will he? Well, he does have a wrap. You know, he's, he's to blame as well. Dave, you're supposed to be the smart one in the group. I agree with you. Edmund's not making any sense with this one. I'm gonna back it up. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Damon, see what he gets me to do? There's no winning with Damon. <laughs> There's literally no winning with Damon. Hold on, I'm about to post that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Edmund vaping with the Mercy. I think we should do it with the Ferrari while this thing cools down. Can the Ferrari do a brake stand burnout? Oh, of course you can. Have you tried it? Uh, no, but I'm sure it could. Uh, it is all-wheel drive, don't forget. It's all-wheel drive, converted. Well, actually? Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Ow. All right, let's see it. That did not sound good. Let's overheat it on an automatic car. How's that possible? That did not sound good. And I smell your clutch again. So on this video, we burned two clutches. On an automatic car, how's Mark's that possible? just looking at you. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> you gotta say, you got some explaining to do. That sounded so bad. Uh, hello, Mark. What happened? I don't know. He just fried his clutch. Are you serious? Yeah. That sounds expensive. Oh, at least you got something this time. What's he doing? What's he doing? But exotic cars, I guess, don't like standing burnout. So we'll do. No. Uh, we'll just do a regular burnout. Go. That was about two inches away from the infinity. What if I put put a chalk on your front wheel? I think that would work. Shut the fuck up, man. But uh. Okay. I don't know if that little rubber thing could stop like 600 horsepower. This is not a good idea. <laughs> what? Well, it's pointed towards Dave's car. Dave, I think something was wrong. I do apologize. I'm so sorry, Dave. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> you got, you got, wait, just please put your parking brake on and come out and look. Your car's in the air. Let me look. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely gonna work. <laughs> oh, it's on a triangle. Just because I can't stand watching him do this, I'm just gonna like. I'll sh I'll show him how it's done. Alrighty. I like the way you're thinking. 
Let me let me show you how it's done. Damien, this is all for you. Damon, I think I'm learning how to make people do burnouts the way you do. Alex, that was horrible, man. It was better than yours. First no, it definitely wasn't, Alex. We're gonna need a few more. as weak as the mercies. That's nuts. That is slow. Nuts. Slow. There you go. Wait, hold. Stop, 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 stop. You're gonna knock out your front bumper. Mark is just sitting in here, sitting on that table as usual, just shaking his head. Mark's, Watch. Glo Mark's gloating right now because a BMW beat a Ferrari and a uh, Lamborghini. Yeah, how do you feel about that? I drive a BMW. Why would I be anything other than pleased? You DDE guys, man. This is a peer pressure, but I can't say no. <laughs> My turn. Ready, Alex? Uh, no, but I don't think I have a choice. Doesn't my car have scissor doors? Like this is the point of having a Lamborghini. Why doesn't? Why don't Huracans have this? Like I don't get it. Like do, does Lamborghini realize they'd sell like so many more Huracans if they have the doors? If they have Lamborghini doors. They only do it on the V12s to make the V12s exclusive and special and better than. The but they'd Huracons. sell so many, and the V10s are what makes their money for them. And they'd sell so many more of it True. if it had doors that go up. That's that's like the whole point of having a Lamborghini. Is the doors. Up, See you later, man. Go get your hair cut. This is weird. Like you're leaving this time. I'm here. Like like this is weird. Like why why is why is why is Mark leaving the shop? Like am I supposed to run the shop now? Alrighty. This is kind of a weird feeling. I don't have a door. And my window switch is like a TV remote here. So yep, that works. The other side. Yep, that works, and then my mirror. Yep. Just adjust them, and then... There we go. Taped. 
the wide body fenders onto the car to see how it kind of looks like. And this thing is going to look bad. Look how wide it is. Look how wide these fenders are, Jesus. That's going to look so good. We're taking from PSM. And we're going to put it in Miguel's car. And we're going to take it somewhere else because we're actually, you know what? I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you. Just watch. It's like 60 pounds. Is that thing actually that heavy? Yeah, try it. Oh, that's heavy. Then carry that hood over. Oh boy. I got this side. PM and we are at AGX because guess what they are open 24 hours in case you're wondering why I'm back I promise you I promise you this wasn't on purpose what? you took the you key ah which one is this for I don't know but I have a key <laughs> to a Huracan or an Aventador but you don't have an Aventador here so Dave left to LA and I guess he never learns his lesson of to never let Alex Choi keep his car or else it's gonna come back pink in some way or the other. He's making me keep his car again. Dave. If I get bored with myself, I'll maybe do something to your car. But for today, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay, please stay tuned for the M2 build because I'm so excited to share that with you guys. Alright, see you guys next time.